Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about how to become quicker and faster at capturing and organizing our notes. And why do we want to do it? Well, because we don't want to lose our precious ideas. So let's get started. This is really like a game. You need to learn a few moves <laughs> so that you become quicker at capturing notes. And every time you use your mouse to do something, you basically lose a point. The idea is that you do everything using your fingers and your keyboard, using shortcuts. Now, if you are on your Mac, like I am right now, the best way to open a new note, if I'm already in Apple Notes, is to press Command-N. This will open a new note for me, where I can start typing my new ideas. If you use an iPad, there is an even faster way to open a new note. You take your iPad, you open the cover, and take your Apple Pencil, tap on the screen, and a new note will be opened, ready for you to start writing. However, by far, my preferred method to capture new ideas when I'm on my Mac, which is pretty much 90% of my time, is to use quick notes. There is a very handy shortcut for um, opening a new quick note, which is function Q. And as soon as you press it, like I've done in this case, a new note will pop up. I tend to call these notes uh, today's logs because I want to keep using the same note to record all my ideas. So my idea, uh, which is gonna be uh, number one today, goes in there. And then I can close this quick note and the beauty of it is that the next time I have a new idea or I want to record something, I can press function Q again, the same note will open and it'll be ready for me to keep writing. So that's very, very handy. By the way, in order to have the last used note always available for you, instead of creating a new one when you press function Q, you need to go into your settings, command comma, and there you can set this one to true, always resume to your last note. When you click this, every time you press, you close a note and you press function Q, the same quick note will be open. And this is true even if you get out of Apple Notes completely. If I quit and then I press function Q, the old quick note will appear and I can start typing my ideas. Now, you've managed to launch the app very quickly and you're ready to capture your thoughts. However, there is another hurdle, which is your temptation to fix typos. When you capture something quickly, you shouldn't care about your typos. Actually, you should ignore them completely, which is very difficult for some people, including me. I always have the temptation to go back and fix something, fix mistakes as I write. But when I do it, I tend to forget what the rest of my sentence was gonna be. So, a potential solution for you if you use your phone is to use the dictation feature. If you open your note and click on this little icon there on the right, which is a microphone, you can dictate your note. This will convert everything you say to text. It will be pretty good, actually pretty decent, but it will make mistakes, but you can then fix them later. So let's have a, let's have a try. So my great idea is that I wanted to create a spaceship that could travel to Mars um, in just a couple of hours instead of three months. And let's see how we went. <laughs> I forgot to press the button to stop it. So my great idea is that I wanted to create a spaceship that could travel to Mars in just a couple of hours instead of three months. And let's see how it went. It went pretty well. I can then go in and fix this or maybe make changes, highlight words and things like that, having captured everything. Now, talking about formatting notes, there are lots of shortcuts that you can use to format your notes, make them more visually interesting without leaving the keyboard. Now, Apple Notes doesn't really give you many possibilities when it comes to adding fancy formatting, but there are quite a few things that you can do without touching your mouse. For example, just as I did um, earlier on, you can select some text, and you can do this by just moving with your um, arrows and maybe um, pressing shift while you, while you uh, press the arrow keys to select words. And if I press Command B, for example, this will be bold. Command I will make it italic and Command U will underline it. Other useful shortcuts are um, the ones that will allow you to change the heading of a specific text. For example, if I wanted to change this one, the new idea, 
and I wanted to change that to a title, I could press Command Shift T and this will be now a title. The entire row will change to a title, so there's no need to select text. And the same goes if I want to uh, make it a header, so Command Shift H for header or Command Shift J for a subheading. I use these features all the time because it makes it very quick to reformat my notes to my, uh, to my liking. If, I, if you want to go back to standard body text, you can do Command Shift B for body. There are more um, options here. You can look at them there in the format menu. So for example, if you want to do mono styled, it will be Shift Command M. Um, if you want to use bullet lists, Command Shift 7 and so on. However, to create lists, it is it's much easier to just start typing the list. So, for example, if I start with number one dot, it will be automatically converted to a list. And it will continue. If I wanted to do a dashed list, I can just insert a dash and continue. Item three. And so on. Another very interesting thing, which I use all the time, are checklists. And again, as you can imagine, there is a shortcut to deal with checklists. So to create a checklist, it's Command Shift L for lists. And uh, maybe it's an action item one, something that I need to complete. And then I have um, action two, and maybe then action three. Now, when let's assume that action three actually has three additional sub items. So you can press tab to indent and this will be 3.1 and 3.2 and 3.3. And if I want to go back now to action four, so one level up, I can press shift tab to go back to the main level. Now there are a few more interesting things that you can do with lists. First of all, you can complete items by pressing command shift U. And this will basically toggle the completion state. This is complete. If I press Command Shift U again, it will be marked as non-complete. And this is very handy when you go through a list of items that maybe you've been working on for the entire day. So you may have quite a few that you've completed. You can go through the list and Command Shift U completes the ones that are done. Now, you probably know that you can drag with your mouse and reorder um, list items by clicking on the icon and then moving things around. But look at what happens. Only the first item was moved and the sub items were left there. So let me undo this and show you a little trick that you can do with your keyboard again. So if you go to action three, let's say you want to move this block um, of actions one row up or one row down, maybe because you're uh, ordering everything by priority, you can use control, command and uh, arrow up to move all of them. And as you can see, this is dragging within all the sub items. You can do the same, control command and arrow down to move everything down. This is really handy when you are reprioritizing parts of a project. Another interesting shortcut which I use all the time is the ability to uh, create a soft return, as it's called. So the ability to write on a different line without creating a new checklist item. For example, if I want to add some notes to my action two, maybe a description of what the note is about or a phone number or whatever I may need, I can press Control Return, the cursor moves to a separate uh, line and I can add my description. Now, the interesting thing is that if I move around action two using my keyboard shortcut, which is Control, Command, Arrow Up, the entire point, including the description, will move with it. And the same if I go down. Now, I put it last. Okay, last thing that I want to mention, which is normally very useful, sometimes you have item five, and maybe um, item six and item seven, and then you realize that item six and seven actually are subtasks of item five. Now, a very easy way to indent them is to go um, to the relevant line and pressing the tab character. This one is now indented. You can do the same for item seven, for example, and it doesn't matter where you are on the line. You can be at the end or at the beginning or in the middle. As soon as you press tab, it will indent it. If you want move the other way, the indented, well, I don't know how to say that in English, 
you press Shift tab, and this will bring back your task towards the main column. And again, even in this case, now that these two are subtasks of, of item 5, if I press Control Command arrow up, all of them will move with action 5. This is pretty handy because as soon as you memorize the shortcuts, your speed will increase massively. Every time you can keep your hands on the keyboard instead of moving them to the mouse, you will save precious seconds. So, I will include a list of these shortcuts in the description below, so make sure that you access it if you want to have a reminder. Two additional shortcuts which will change and format your text are the monostyle text, which is Command-Shift-M, which is useful for um, code, for example. Or maybe the shortcut for quotes. Now, that changes depending on your uh, keyboard layout. In my case, I've got an Italian layout and my shortcut is Command accented I. But a standard American keyboards normally use Command Shift apostrophe. There are plenty of other uh, shortcuts you can use in Apple Notes depending on your needs for dealing with tables and so on. I don't use tables too much, so I will anyway link um, in the description the official documentations page uh, from Apple where you can see all of your shortcuts. Now, I'm going to mention just a couple of additional shortcuts that I use all the time, and they relate to creating links. Now, if you uh, want to add a link to your note, for example, because you've watched a great video, I watched a great video today. You can highlight the words where you, can, you want to create a link and press Command K and then you can type um, here the URL. Um, another interesting thing is that you can also create internal links by, for example, start typing the name of the note that you want to link to. Um, for example, uh, why YouTubers quit too soon. And if I click and then click OK, then this thing will link to that specific note. There is an even better way to create internal links, so links to existing notes or maybe to a new note that you want to create on the spot. And that involves typing two greater than signs followed by some letters of the note you want to create. In this case, I uh, typed YouTube. Apple Notes gives me a full list of uh, notes that include the keyword YouTube, and I can choose the one that I want. Maybe it's this one. And when I press return, it will be created as a link. And this is great. I cannot stop talking about this because it has completely changed the way I interact with my notes. The last thing that I wanted to mention is only available on a Mac, and it's the ability to change the color of the text. This is something you cannot do on iPhone or iPad, although these two will actually render the color you choose on your Mac. On your Mac is really easy. You select the word or maybe words that you want to change, like watched in this case. You then press Shift Command C to open your colors and you pick a new color. Mm, let's say I'm going to make it red. And look, this is now red and it'll be perfectly rendered on your iPhone. Um, you can then go in, maybe make other changes. You make it bold, you make it underlined by clicking by pressing Command-B or Command-U to underline it, and that's it. It'll be visible on your iPhones naturally. These are just a few ideas, really, something that I use every day to speed up my um, capturing and formatting uh, workflow. But there are lots of additional things you can do with Apple Notes. For example, you can use dividers to make your notes more beautiful. Have a look at this video to discover more. And for now, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon.